Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with the next super happy to get back into more Tacked Up Destiny. As you guys know, this has been one of my favorite new anime of the year, my anime. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why. There is a huge amount of creative and stylistic work done in this, as well as some very high technical expertise levels in animation. That's just my opinion. But I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it, so hit up our Discord in the link below where you can chat with us about it. As always, if you enjoyed watching our last episodes or you're going to watch with us here, remember to watch the original episode first and support the original content creators wherever they may release it. This one is on Crunchyroll, I believe, and it will be linked in the description below as well. So check that out. And, uh, you know, finally, big shout out to our patrons because without their donations every month, we would not be able to continue doing our reaction stuff and do patron exclusive reactions, early access, all the, you know, cuts and edits and all that great stuff but if you can't do that you can always check us out live sundays we don't have uh, our videos saved you have to be a patron to go watch old videos but every week we try to do these live on sunday so you can come and check us out there with that being said we are going to go ahead and get into episode seven i believe and it should be a really fun time as you guys know i really like music and i think if you like music you'll enjoy this as well but it, it is a little bit off on the pacing in the last couple episodes, so we're going to see how this one goes. Hopefully it picked back up again, and it'll be a great time. He's playing. But... <laughs> Damn, I didn't think about a long car ride with no radio. And you can't sing. Oof, that's actually kind of rough. I didn't think about that until now. No music arts to deploy. So we're getting more about the organization, which we really needed. Uh -huh. Oh, this is that guy. Okay, this guy. This guy is weird. He throws me off, man. I, and, and her too. Her too. You just won't do. Oh. He's so blatant with it too. He wasn't even mean. He's like, you're just not enough. He's breaking the wall. He's actually that. That takes a lot of punches. Does he do this every day? Or a very strong person? Jesus. Well, it is, it is anime. Is this... It really was that easy. That was a little rushed. I love that they added that into the story piece. Oh, and guns. Hello. It is America. Oh, no, you shouldn't say that. Oh, and you guys are totally going to stop them. These, these guys kind of look like cops. Oh no. This guy talks like an American. Then I shall blow their brains out in your place. Look at his eyes. He actually looks kind of like tired or depressed or something. Then I shall blow out their brains in your place. I love her so much. She's so fire. Look at him. He actually looks like he's dying, kind of. Is it his trauma? What is the light in her eye on the bottom there? Why is it pink? Oh, he needs to write. They're empty. <laughs> Look at how small it made the text. This is true. Mm, that's what brought it on. What? But his eyes, he's not sleeping, man. 
I love that animation for it though. It's so subtle. One. This is my first time. <laughs> Did, you really... Did you really think this is my first time? Oh no, then that's time. It is my first time. But did you really think that? So is that like a harmonica kind of thing? I've never seen one of these. Yeah, it's t he was doing it before in his head, which is tough. Granted, it's all interval jumps, so if you think of it like that. Oh, is there it went. There she went, huh? <laughs> As you said, bitch. <laughs> Damn. You'd be in the way. Hmm. It's who you want to hear the song. This is somewhat true. A lot of composing is what you're writing for and who you're writing, huh? Uh... Corn? Milk? Does she not know where he's at at all times? I thought they were that connected like that. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Guess they never said that. Oh, they're going to feed the hungry and tense. The babies actually look very good in this. What the fuck? Everything looks so good. Look at it! Those are real baby sounds, BT dubs. It's not well lined up because of that, but those that is a real recording of a baby. That's not what they usually use, which are these kind of stock sounds. Or they go like with like some pretty decent voice acting. That's a baby. I'm telling you 100%. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, the noises that the babies make are almost impossible for a person to reproduce. I could explain to you using vocal theory and a bunch of other shit. But basically, babies haven't picked the language yet, so they're able to produce all the sounds that we've kind of forgotten how to. So she's growing. And she's got so many. What the fuck? She's Wolverine with lollipops. Yeah. Well... You know. I knew they were coming back to it. That's why I was like, it's such a weird progression because it's like falling in love with the person who replaced the person you were falling in love with. It just seems weird. Lenny! That's who he wants to hear his song. Uh, this is really an interesting story. I didn't think they were going to do another episode like this. And this one will have the action, but this is the tone of the story. This is not a action show. Damn. Like I said, they're going to be action, right? Now we're going to get some stuff. Oh, that's a yeah, they're lighting them up. Look at homie with the shotgun. Hey, hey, yeah. Camp blows. Damn, look at this one. It looks so interesting. Whoa. Bro, yeah, your bullets ain't worth dog piss. I, he talks like an American, honestly. Oh, and it shoots fucking lightning. Dude, it's from Valheim. It's Valheim deer. Oh, that dodged the shot. Bro, it dodged the shot. That's cool. That's probably the scene there, but we'll see if there's any cooler. That one's pretty dope, too. Damn, it's such a good looking... The ability of using motion blur and other things, I feel like whoever made this... Damn! She fucked it up. Wait, what? And then it made it like a little black hole. Or it had an implosion. Look at him. Jesus! <laughs> They're missing the Christ, but they got half of it, which is better than most. Oh! A tuner? Oh, he summoned them. Oh, he's d he's doing exactly what he was told not to. Oh, 
I love her rose crown. Is that what they were using those stones for? So this is what hell does. Okay, they summon. I'm waiting because we've already seen hell is above destiny, we kind of assume. But I have a feeling he's going to be stopped by the person above him. The guy who told him to stop and his creepy emotionless one that is even somehow creepier than the psycho crazy bitch. I knew he's going to say it was in the town where he was a kid. Oh, it was that one. So he's not taking credit for the one that killed his father, just the one that killed Cosette. Oh, he's going to turn all red. Watch him snap the fucking composer's thing. Said, I'll kill you. I'm not going to lie. I think the way his thing works, he could, but it's going to be next episode. Damn, really? That These episodes have flew by today. What the fuck? Like, not passed by. Flew by, bruh. Flew by, flew by. Like, holy shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. It, it was pretty good. It, I did not expect the same thing we were getting last time, which was another slow paced episode, but it really does seem to be focusing so much on the emotion. Uh, I think that would be my note is that maybe a little more interjection of action for the, um, the common peoples, you know, like me who like action. But it's still really well done. Obviously, the quality hasn't failed at all. And they really did bring it in here. I think we kind of felt that this guy was things, you know, responsible. But I, I actually didn't really feel like he was responsible for the stuff going around in the other ones because we really hadn't seen any kind of clues to that. The clues we saw were more towards him being responsible or somehow involved in the death of Tack's father um, in the whole incident there, not necessarily in the death of Cosette. But, I mean, it's interesting to reveal that. I do think that that, unless maybe I'll go back and watch some of the other ones and maybe it was hinted at more specifically, but I, I don't know. I feel like there wasn't enough buildup for that surprise to be quite as fulfilling as it could have been. Having, you know, uh, a little bit of buildup for things is great, but they built up the other things instead. So they weren't building up toward the drama. They were building the emotion of like the loss and replacing like these more philosophical questions, right? That's how I was feeling the f at the start of this episode was more of a philosophical episode of like, well, what does it mean, you know, to be in the same body and like, you know, to like somebody who, af you know, who is replacing the person you liked and dealing and grappling with those kind of weird intense situations you would never really grapple with in real life mostly but also kind of somewhat parallel some things that you could deal with in real life right like finding new love and like trying to let go of old love or like losing somebody and trying to find new somebody not saying that he's going to fall in love with destiny or anything but just saying that's kind of the movement of it and even from the sense of like accepting loss right like or sorry like but in the sense of accepting loss for the older sister right the whole not call it, calling her Cosette anymore is just a huge noticeable impact of things like that. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did, and I'd love to talk with you more about it. If you hit the link below that says Discord, now there's a Discord link below, you can check that out, come to our channel, chat with all the people. We do video game stuff, music stuff, we watch videos, you know, we love doing it all. So come chat with us about anything and we'd love to do it with you if you enjoyed watching this show remember to support the original content creator because without them we don't get more of these great shows like tacked off destiny and man i really would like more shows at least with the animation style i'm not sure if i'd like more shows with this pacing but we're not through it yet so we'll have to see it's not bad it's just a little bit slower than your typical shonen i think in the way the big the episodes are moving right like it, which I don't mind because it's got a more dynamic flow. Each episode has its own movement as to, opposed to like Dragon Ball Z where most of the episodes move in the exact same pace. No offense. But that's kind of the point of a shonen is uh, this consistent draw in for younger, you know, male audiences point of shonen. Uh, but 
you know, to each their own. Thanks for watching. Big shout out to all of our Patreon subscribers who get this accessed early up to a week and of course get none of the video overlays. And finally, you can like, comment, subscribe to see more or watch it live on Twitch. Every week we do these Sunday afternoons now. That's right, Sunday afternoon from like 1 to 3 or so. Thanks and we'll see you guys next time for more Tacked Up Destiny here on Reactions with an X.